the Tolnar, the ninth and most mysterious race in Ashes of Creation. One that Intrepid Studios is doing a very good job at keeping very close to the chest. These creatures reside in what is known as the Underrealm in Ashes of Creation, a massive bioluminescent area underneath the world of Vera, totaling about a hundred square kilometers where the Tolnar have been residing for many, many years. The Underrealm is filled with unique creatures, rare resources exclusive to this area and it has its own node systems that can be developed by players as well. But who are these Tolnar people who reside within? The Tolnar were once the races you know today. Dwarves, humans, elves and orcs that once inhabited Vera. When the apocalypse started and Vera began to fall, many of its citizens took to the divine gateways to escape this world to Sanctus, a world built without magic. But the gateways to Sanctus didn't remain open forever and eventually they closed, leaving all who remained left to fight for survival. Many stayed on the surface of Vera and took to the skies to attempt to survive, and these races are now hinted to be monstrous bird-like creatures known as the Slaidborn, where those who didn't take to the sky either perished or took to the Underrealm and eventually became the Tolnar we know today. Whether it was corruption, evolution, or cross-species breeding that brought them to their current form is currently unknown, which these are mysteries that we will sure to uncover when we step into Vera ourselves. Although we really have no idea what they look like, you can see the silhouettes of Intrepid's original ideas here, but these have since been scrapped by Intrepid and they have moved forward with a different design. I'm hoping that the Tolnar now fit the Underrealm in the way that we get some bioluminescent customization for their body. We do know though that the Tolnar is the one race in Ashes of Creation that will allow you to adjust its racial appearance in a significant manner, whereas the other races have subtypes such as the the Nikua and the Dunir Dwarves that are all under the Dunzical Dwarf race or the Kalar and Veloon humans, but there is no subtype for the Tolnar. There's just the Tolnar. You will be able to customize your character to be more mammal-like with a snout, fur, and inverted knees, or go into the complete opposite direction making it more reptilian-like with circular eyes and scaly skin. Since they were once one of the four main races, you can probably expect to see some aspects of them in the customization as well. When you choose to start out as a Tolnar, you won't be restricted to starting in the Underrealm though. Like all races, you can choose which area you want to start in, even if that means the Tolnar starting in the Dwarf starting zone, or Orcs in the Underrealm with the Tolnar. So although lore-wise this is the first time the Tolnar will have come to the surface of Vera in a very long time, you won't have restrictions keeping you away from playing with your friends if this is where you want to go. The Underrealm has no divine gateway in it, but you've probably figured that out by now as these creatures were trapped on Vera and had no way to leave, and the gateways throughout the world had closed, but the starting area itself will be similar to those other starting areas of the races within the NPC structures around those gateways. I'd also imagine that the Tolnar areas will feel a bit more alive than those on the surface, as they've been in the Underrealm the whole time, compared to the other races who are just returning to the ruins of their once forgotten civilizations. The races of Vera, with the exception of a few, are mostly humanoid looking, so seeing the Tolnar and its vast customization will be very interesting to see, and I bet it will be a very popular choice among those creating characters. Are you expecting to play a Tolnar in Ashes of Creation? Let me know in the comments down below. Obviously, we don't know what they look like yet, so a lot of you are still probably going to be on the fence, but if you're new to Ashes and have yet to make an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below, which all of this will go towards supporting my channel in the long run. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.